All right, it is six no. o'clock. No. I'm it's calling this meeting in order. Everyone rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands, United States of America. To the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, did everyone come we didn't stand. Did everyone have a chance to look at and review the minutes from last time? Sounds that good. What? Sounds that good. Is it sounding any better? Say something. <clears throat> Can you hear yeah. Say something. Yeah, so is that yes, yes. Excellent. All right, did everyone have a chance to review the minutes? Yes. Did anyone have any questions? Yes. Concerns? Can I get someone to move it? Move it. Okay, well, Phyllis move, Jack second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. Holly is off, so I am doing the minutes today. So if there's like a lag time, that's that's what the issue is. I'm trying to remember how to call the end of this. Um, all right, treasurer's report. Finally, the financial report, everybody's got is there any questions? Again, we're doing well. Hearing none, I move it. Okay, can I get a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? All right. Report of unpaid bills. Does anyone have any questions on the bills? Just one. What does SRC mean? Summer Reading Club. Thank you. Move it. Okay, can I get a second? Second. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Okay, correspondence. Nothing. Nothing, okay. President's report. Um, also, um, oh, actually the, the um yeah nothing also you're gonna do the budget or oh my god thank you budget yes um so did everyone have a chance to look at and review the two different budget options that were sent to us there's one which um was a smaller increase what was the increase up around that i don't know if it's on uh it is a change of 5.5% um, and then the other one is 6.9%. Yeah. Um, so the 5.5% change is with computer purchases coming out of the reserve funds. And the 6.9% was with computer purchases coming out of the money that we get from the tax base. Um, do you need do you need these up to show or does there yeah, we could do that <coughs> or uh, if everyone doesn't have them printed does anyone have any questions about either budget that ron can can answer what was the increase last year two point something percent oh, yeah Jessica, all the libraries are going up. I know, for example, I'm uh, gonna mess it, mess it up, but it was either Bath or Cornell. One of them went for 7% and it passed. What was the big increase in cost? Mm -hmm. Labor costs and just everything else is going up as well. The big issue, a big hurt was the labor costs 
especially because of the increase in minimum wage. It's a good explanation of why it went from two or three percent to five percent. Yeah. I mean, the salaries went up 8.4%. And the overall... Uh, it's not only the minimum wage, but then there were some positions that then had to be boosted because yeah. they were basically at the new minimum wage. Yeah. So the total payroll subtotal went up 7.8%. Not had a budget pass? Nope. How badly would we be in the hole if this budget didn't pass? I know with the school budget, you can go back. Oh, we, we revert to the previous year, but yeah. I, I thought you wanted examples. Yeah, I, I wouldn't even begin to speculate on it, but it reverts to the previous year budget. which would mean that we'd have to cut other things so that we could like have employees. Yes. Okay. If people have thoughts, we want to take a straw poll and then make it further. Does it only get one poll? Yes. So if it goes down, it's down. It's so down. It's second poll. It can't go back. Not like right. the school. Right. Not like the school. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was on the board when that happened. Really? Not good. <laughs> We've always passed with a relatively big mark. And I think there's yeah. justifiable reasons to go for the larger budget. Typically, we pass, I want to say the average is about 65% approval. And what was it last year? Last year was 58. So margins are slimmer. Sounds like. But only a couple of years ago, we were over 70%. Right. Okay. Any a couple of years ago, do you mean like pre-pandemic? A couple of years ago or? Uh, from what I remember, it was pre-pandemic. Yeah. Be, Does because it tend to be? The inflation now, I think people are really scared. Yeah. It's a big state election with the governor and stuff, so. Yeah, it's going to be a good Turn turnout. Out. I think historically we've done better in presidential years. I think that would make sense. We certainly get more people voting in presidential years because apparently presidential is the only election that actually matters. Yeah. Jack is head of the Financial things. What are your thoughts? Which one? Number which one? Seven. 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 Raise your hand. Wait, Jack just said six. Wait, there, okay, there are, there are two budgets. There's the 5.5 and there's the 6.9. Right. This is just a straw poll. If you are in favor of the 5.5, raise your hand. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Oh, Pass. six, sorry. Didn't twist that. Pass. Seven, Seven eight. eight. Okay, all in favor of the 6.9. Cool. One, two, three, four. Okay. Um, so, 6.9 people make your argument. Go for it. Okay, go for it. Is yeah, I mean, how many times has it been turned down? Never. It's never been turned down. It's never so how much money are, are we buying? So how much money is going to computers that is coming out of our safety net basically? Uh give me a second. I just blanked. Uh 
equipment line is only 19,000 in the one budget. And the included equipment, chairman. Amazing how slow the pictures are when we need them fast. Yeah. <laughs> what are we going to lose if we do And we'll be back at what are we going to lose? I mean, the difference between 5.5 and 6.9 can't just be to have a, a slush fund. No. It's going to lose by not going 6.9. You'll take the equipment purchases out of reserve funds. That's what will have to happen. How good are the reserve funds? We seem to be in decent shape, I think. I don't have it off the top of my head. But I know, for example, we had a technology reserve of 75000 to 100000 We've got other reserve funds for the, like steel, for example, I think 250,000. Uh, we've got res, uh, reserve funds for all the branches, anywhere from 30 to 50,000. And didn't the state tell us that our reserve funds were too much at one point? Not since I've been here. I remember something about that too. Yeah. Do you remember something about that? I want to hear what I had for breakfast. Yeah. What can it be? What's the, what's the maximum in the reserve fund? It depends on the size of your budget. Well, yeah, that's a, no. that's a percentage, right? Y yeah. Yeah. It's so, like, what was like a school year cost in this budget? Or the equipment costs in this one? The equipment costs in this one are. So 19000 in the other one? 50. This is 50. Yeah, we took 50 grand out of the, the other budget. All right. It's a decent amount. From our reserves, yeah, thousand. But we have it's not like we, we're not having to cut equipment or services between two budgets. No. It's just a matter of are we asking the taxpayers to pay them? Yes, Jack. If we let's see, hypothetically, we pull six point nine. Down, you go to this year's budget. Right. And if we had to operate under this year's budget, what would we lose? I mean, it's going to be a selling point saying we have to go with this because we don't want to go back. You're going to cut, you're not going to replace anybody who leaves, like the pages or the clerks. You're probably going to have to cut program budget and materials budget. About hours open. Hours open, we should be okay. We can't cut too much, or we can't be the central right. library. Right, we, we have to be open fifty-five hours. hours. And when we're closed in the summer on Saturdays, we're at fifty-six. Worst case scenario, you'd lose Saturdays, but I don't think that would go over well. I really don't. Are we ready to, does someone want to move a particular budget? I move we do the 6.9. Okay. I said it. Okay. All in favor? Okay. So, hold on, let me, let me make, let me make a of this. I mean, can I can you switch over to the um to the zoom to see so I can see if they are if they're voting for the 6.9? Are either of you voting for the 6.9? Okay. Um so that is one, two, three, four, five votes for the 6.9. Oh, you were? Okay. And our votes don't count anyway, do they? They're not supposed to. They're not supposed to. 
Okay. Can I get someone to move the 5.5 before it's okay? So, uh, who's seconding? I'll second. All in favor? favor? Okay, so that was Kevin, me, Pat, Phyllis, and Jessica. Well, uh, the 6.9 wins out by six people to five people. So I guess we're going with 6.9. Okay. But is that enough to accrue to it? Yeah. We need a majority of the core of the people present. So. So without Holly here, I think to be official, should we have one vote and yeah. yay and nay? And so that a quorum is this Rachel says it's the majority. It's the majority. Right. But I'm just saying we did more those are more like straw polls to be for the vote. Yes. We should vote for the people who are for it and against it. Yeah. 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 Let it but I thought you did that. that. Yeah, I thought that, that was we were literally were just doing. All right. And so the, the six point nine wins. All right. Okay. Okay, but you have to specify that you're approving uh, library district tax receipts in the amount of three million three hundred ninety-eight thousand six hundred and fifteen dollars. I knew that as you said. <laughs> okay, uh, approve. So it's the so it's the the total budget. So you're just voting on the tax receipts. Three, nine, eight, six, one, five. Okay, so do we want to just have another vote on that for it to make it clean, or do we? Uh, we might as well and just be sure. Okay, so Jack moves, Mark seconds to have the tax receipts. For, for the 2023 budget, the three million three hundred ninety-eight thousand six hundred and fifteen dollars. All in favor? Okay, so I guess now we end this or no? No. Okay. And all the uh, opposed? Okay. All right. I think that's it for the president's report. Okay. Uh, can I please have a motion to approve the personnel actions? They're all contractual. Moved. I move it. Second. Okay. Who wants to fight for it? Okay. So Mark gets it. Sure. All in favor? Okay. Okay. Anything else? Yes. Does anyone have an stls.org email address? No. We had set them up ages ago for board members. Um, it doesn't look or sound like anybody's using them. Uh, we're going to have them deleted. Uh, reason being, we're going to be migrating to my, Microsoft 365 email, and there may be a cost per email address. And uh, it just makes no sense to keep them if they're not being used. Next week, the Director Advisory Council is going to be looking at downloadable cost share increases. Owen and I have been discussing going no higher than 9%. However, the amount of the increase will be voted on, and we may be in the minority, but we hope not. Owen is on the subcommittee, 
and believes there may even be a new proposal coming out as well. The 9%, we currently pay $27,095. A 9% increase is $2,489 for a total expenditure of $29,584. Can you do me a favor and just email me all of those notes because there's no way I can do that. <laughs> I can go that fast. <laughs> okay, I'll let you have these. Oh, awesome, that would be great. I have a question too. Yeah. You said it had to be voted on. Is it voted on by the directors or by the SCLS board? Uh, advisory Council, the Directors Advisory Council. You ready to go? Yes. Okay. We've got four PlayStation kiosks and four Xbox One kiosks. This is a project we've had for a few years in the making. Um, our goal is to put them on the first floor, but we couldn't find any furniture that was able to house them. So we eventually had them built specifically for us. We don't have every aspect of this new program worked out yet, but we're trying to as different situations come up. A uh, patron would need a library card it's from, uh, to sign out a controller from the public service desk. Um, we're not sure if we're going to control time limits or people waiting to use the kiosk. Um, some libraries impose a late fee if you bring them back late. I'm going to be sending you the list of games. Okay. And this way you have a good idea. Um, so it's the in-house use, not borrowing. In-house use. And there are, are there sections in the teen space as well, or is that already there? We're, no, it's not up there. We're going to see where we can totally fit them in. Ah. We're looking at purchasing games with an everyone rating. Uh, there is some cartoon violence, but if you notice, there's violence in all cartoons. Um, I'm going to send you out the game list, and I'd like you, if you wouldn't mind, take a look at it, do some research if you're uncomfortable and let us know if there's certain games you don't want on the machines. There will be no internet access available to patrons by using these kiosks. That's just the way it's gonna be set up. Um, we're trying to do everything we can to require the least amount of staff interaction. Hopefully it's gonna be a matter of staff just checking out a controller to someone at this point. Uh, all games are preloaded. That's why there's no internet access needed. Um, and just as a quick note, the American Library Association believes gaming in libraries promote, promotes literacy. It's another out of the box library activity to bring new young and or traditional library users into the library. We're just thinking outside the box to keep the library relevant. Does the library rent video games? Yes. So we've made at least one separate. Yes, yes. Um, I gave Rachel copies of the union contract. There's only six, so she'll figure out what to do. And I'll do buildings and grounds because there's only one line. The Horsehead's Pavilion landscaping project is to start soon. It could be as early as the next two weeks. I'll add that the planters look really nice. Whoever's watering them. These ones? Plants them, yeah. Thank you. Fran and I plan them. So when did you say that was going to be started? Uh, within the next two weeks. A little squash in there or something? <laughs> <laughs> there was sweet potato vine. And if you'll notice, the sweet potato vine in this one died. But there's squash or cucumber or something growing. And we did not purchase squash or cucumber or anything like that. It's so It's a volunteer. Awesome. Like be feeding the community. <laughs> That's it. Okay. Are, are you still doing, are we still doing labor management? When the union asks for it. Okay. Yeah. They cancel most months. All right. Has everyone had a chance to look at the executive committee notes? Does anyone have any questions about them? 
at that time we had talked about um, the possibility of having Matt Burr on retainer. Did anyone have any further thoughts on that? Good idea. Anyone else? Have? I guess my biggest question would be how much more are we going to need? Is it cost? I mean, if it's more cost effective, um, knowing how much time he's putting in has been putting in, is it going to save us money? I don't know if we have a, if he has a limit to, let's say he's got to do it for six months or if we can do it month to month. Do you know what I mean? On yeah. what would make more sense? I don't know what his stipulations would be. I mean, I think it's also with the what further services we want. And during the course of this investigation, he was like, oh, you should redo this thing and that thing and, and have a new employee handbook and this and that and the next thing. And I think if we go with having him do more stuff, then having him on retainer makes sense. If we just have him go with the day and law of the investigation, I don't know how much sense that makes. So I think maybe that would be for further discussion. But I think just having him on retainer, just generally in the perpetuity, seems less possible. Um, I guess my, I don't know how the inner workings work enough to know what what he's saying that we need. We already have the place. I guess that's my biggest question. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? The things that he recommends that we have. Maybe they exist, maybe they just need updated, maybe they just need tweak a little bit. Things that we could do with maybe, you know what I mean? What was out there? Yeah. I mean, I certainly think it behooves us to do more research. Maybe the next time our committee meets, there's a personnel committee, so we can go over that and discuss and then present whether or not we think it's worthwhile. Okay. Does anyone else have any thoughts on that? Okay. Cool. Um, budget and finance. Got the report. Another short meeting. Any questions? All right. Uh, Buildings and grounds, you covered that with the pavilion. Was it pavilion? Is there anything else on that we need to discuss? Uh, G. Personnel committee. I defer to you. <laughs> the investigation has been wrapped up. We've spoken to the relevant parties. Um, it's, you know, confidential, so we're not going to share details of that at an open meeting, but. Do you want me to stop been, recording? What? Do you want me to stop recording? We'll go into an executive session. Okay. okay. Um, and so, um, the investigation has been wrapped up. The day new mall is happening, but, um, yeah. We're, it's it's done. Okay. Um, uh, election and continuity committee. And every time Rick Roberts writes me out a report, thank you, it's Rick, and I'll just read it. As in past years, the trustee election will be conducted on election day with two polling places, Steel Memorial and Horsehead Street Library. Election day is November 8th. Sue Cook will serve as election commissioner again this year, and the board has approved the election budget not to exceed 4000 There are five districts up for election this year. Currently, the status of these districts are District 3, Pam is not running, and we have found a tentative replacement. He's agreed to run, and he has a petition, and we're pretty well set. 
District 4, Kevin is going to run. District 8, Penny is going to run. District 9, Crystal it was running as of this report, but we do have a notice from Crystal that she's getting very busy and is considering whether she's going to run her again or not. District 13, Mark Paget is running. And if there are any errors or changes, please let the committee know as soon as possible. And the petitions are required to have the candidate's name to be on the ballot. Petitions require the signatures of 25 registered voters who reside in the candidate's legislative district. Petition forms may be obtained from the district business office or from me. Completed petitions must be submitted to the business office no later than 3 p.m. on Monday, September 12th. We also have um, one of our representatives to the STLS for Kim. Um, write down her name. Has, has um, decided to resign. And so I've contacted Brian, and we are looking for someone else to be that person. I did talk to Brian about it, and if we can't find anybody, I could do it for a year. So we will see what happens on that. If anybody knows anybody who would like to be in on the STLS board, let me know. No, anybody from the STLS board, they represent, we have four that represent Shimon County Library District, and they can be from any district. Just Shimon County. And that involves meetings. One, once a month meeting. And they do change the place, or that at least before COVID, they used to change the place to have a different, to different libraries so that they can go to all different libraries. And each month. And right now, the three who represent CCLD drive together. They meet kind of in big flats area and drive together from there. But you wouldn't have to, but if you want to, I'm sure they would be. They are also looking for somebody they let me know. So far, haven't found anybody. Brian is also looking, so far, hasn't found anybody. So that's where we are. I have contacted several people without much luck. That's what about Past board members, is that something that maybe it can be past board members? I can be current members. Right. So yeah, I talked to, when I talked to Georgia, she was like, night driving is no longer my friend. So that's not that that's the kind of right. trouble we've had. I think I could talk to Jim Hare the next Ooh. time I see her. Oh, that's a good idea. Jim Hare. Maybe Rick Roberts. Just throw Michael's name over the bus. Yeah, I don't know what Rick is driving that much. Is it easy? I didn't think about him starting the truth. I could ask him. That's, that's a good suggestion. Could you do me a favor and email me the report that Rick sent so that I have those notes in front of me when I do the minutes? You want me to make a copy of it right now? That would also work. We want Lars. This is over. I'll go run out and make a copy. Okay. We want Lars. Oh, yes. Maybe. You work with her, right? I do. Want to go harass her? I can do that. Awesome. Mm -hmm. I really think we should just reach out to all the I asked her, <laughs> oh, did you? not recently, but last time I needed somebody, and she said she was too, had too much to kind of play. By now, ask her anyway. Right, exactly. <laughs> I can go harass it. 
I was getting desperate when I said I would do it. Uh, is anything else we need to discuss about election continuity? All right, everyone harass your friends, don't forget. Um, advocacy committee. Okay. Um, I move we enter executive session to discuss personnel matters. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Please stop the recording. From. So Pam uh, moved, Kevin seconded, the vote was unanimous to come out of executive session. We are now out of executive session. Uh, we time. Oh. Yeah. You know, I did not time when we went into executive session. Oh well. Um, that's a good point. Um, so that happened. Uh, and then any old business? Any new business? I, you had a hand gesture, was that? Yeah. Okay. New business? Yes. Um, I'd like you to know that I'm going to be retiring at the end of August. I appreciate what you've done uh, and how, you, how you've treated the staff and treated me. Um, I've got 12 years here. I've got 24 years as a librarian. It's been a good career, but I'm 65 in November. I want to spend time with the grandkids. I I want to travel. I want to learn to play guitar. You know, I, I want to learn a new language. And I've got a whole laundry list of books I want to read. So um, it, it's been a pleasure. It's been an honor to be here. Uh, I'm going to send out my email notice to the staff on Saturday. Um, I'm not here next week. I figured it would give them a chance to see the news and then not bug me as much until I get back. So I'm trying to make it easy on myself. I admit it. So, but again, thank you so much for everything you've done. And I, I mean, I, I haven't always had a great relationship with the board, but this group right here has been the best mixture that I've worked with. And I appreciate it very much. Thank you. And I don't know about on behalf of the board, but certainly on behalf of me, I've, I've enjoyed working with you and I feel that you've done great work here at the library and we're very sad to see you go, but um, we hope that things go well going forward for you and that you learn to play the guitar in another language and do all of the things that you want to do. Thank you. And I want to thank you and I know you'll have a wonderful retirement because you've done some planning and um, spending time with grandkids. There's nothing like it. Yes. So enjoy. Thank you. People always say they're busier when they have to retire. So I'm not so sure it's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? I, it's just, I've been thinking about it for a while and I kind of thought maybe wait till next year, but Every time I turn around, I got some new medical issue. And I just, while I'm still in good condition, lack of a better word, I, I, I want to do as much as I can. My parents died at 72. So I, you know, I'm, I'm hoping to outlive them, but uh, I'm not going to put any money on it. Nothing's guaranteed. Yeah. All right. So we need to vote to accept your resignation. Okay. Sorry. <coughs> With regret. Okay. Uh, all in favor of accepting Ron's retirement with regret? <laughs> okay. It is unanimous. Thank you again for your service, Ron. Um, you will be missed. Thank you. Uh, 
we need to probably talk about doing a press release. So, uh, yeah, and then figuring out some other stuff. But we'll we'll be in touch. Okay. Okay. Cool. Oh wait, no. There's one more thing. So, with Ron's retirement, we're going to need an interim director until we can find a new full-time director. I, um, I move that we ask Owen Frank, the current uh, head of Horseheads and the Branches, to serve as interim director um, until we can find a replacement. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Any opposed? Okay. Uh, any other business we need to discuss? No. Okay. Now, Jack, you can say. Okay. Okay, you move me adjourned. Who wants to second? I will. Okay. I'll go with Kevin since he's here. Oh, okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous. It is five or six. Oh, uh, three. Oh, three. Oh, Frank is a librarian in horses. Oh, and he's in charge of the branches. He's also the most senior librarian senior. currently on staff. Yeah, he's, he's, he's the librarian three, so he's a logical step. I think he said he'd been here. 25 years, something like that. He's close to it. Close to it. Yeah. All right. Thank you, everybody. Have a great night. If anyone would like a copy of the contract, it's going to go to the board. It's going to go to the executive members. So fill us and get more. Oh, that's two. Who else gets one? Jack, you get one because you're uh, the treasurer. I get one because I'm the board president. Anyone else who would like one? Um, well, one is going to go to Martha when she's in next because she's the secretary. Anyone, anyone else who would like one has to fight for the remaining two. No, but I mean, we all set? Yep. I'll get those. See you later. Bye.